Hiya! So before I jump right in to this speed paint on talking about Stormy, Cloudy's little boyfriend, uh, I need to give some context on the character design background of Stormy. Because, <laughs> oof, I am about to just pretty much expose myself and how much of, like, <laughs> I guess, like, in my weird obsessions... I am a part of a lot of niche fandoms, and I have a lot of niche interests, so this is probably going to be the most niche and probably the most, like, what the heck are you talking about? What? Why of all things this? So, I hope you're all prepared, because I don't think you're ready. So, when I was a wee child in 2007, I was seven years old, depending on the time of year. Yes, that's a lie. I was seven years old. So I was obsessed with penguins. All things penguins. I had a ginormous collection of penguins. I was known as the penguin girl. I had over a hundred different penguin things. And so, of course, like when, when your family knows you're interested in something, they constantly get it for you. Even now, people are like, oh, you still into penguins? And I'm like, yes, I am. I love penguins. I still have a few from my childhood. I have, like, a giant one, a few stuffed animals. I have some penguin books. Some of them are just little picture books. Some of them are actual, like, penguin penguin books. I had everything penguin. So, I came across this little thing called Club Penguin. <laughs> oh, boy. And so, after that, and, of course, this is, like, modern day club penguin like this is like old school club penguin where they just got out of like really beta right out of 2006 i'm like right in the gecko of january 2007 like what is this thing about penguins discovering club penguin i was head over heels for it and i was like yes penguin 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 and i deep dove into the club penguin like phenomenon like non-stop i had the books the games the stuffed animals of course i had the membership i would go on different club penguin forums i would make so much club penguin fan art like it's <laughs> oh my god it's like crazy i was the club penguin fan and honestly i was still a club penguin fan with my original account up until the actual club penguin thing shut down like, once original Club Penguin shut down, I was... I think I actually fell into a state of depression. Well, I had a lot of medical issues, which caused me to be super isolated from everyone. And I was very alone. And so, of course, when I was like, oh, I, I can go on Club Penguin and interact with people. And I would. And I would interact with all my puffles. And I would play games and make money and talk to people. Not in, like, a weird way. Just be like, oh my god, like whoa and so i was i mean i'm still in love with club penguin i've made recent club penguin fan art i believe in 2019 i have because i went on club penguin rewritten and i made a new account and i was like yes this is it uh i no longer have that club penguin rewritten account because i think they deactivated me because you have to keep logging in on a certain amount of time uh because but i can't do it anymore because i have a very busy life and it breaks me but so the context of making stormy is <laughs> i was obsessed with club penguin and specifically this one penguin that had blue and white stripes on their hat in a little red onesie and i have this penguin taped onto my computer <laughs> Because it came from one of the Club Penguin sticker books and I am obsessed with this penguin because this penguin just looks so comfortable and he's just like, yes. And he, he featured in the magazine a lot. I believe in like Christmas editions and all that whenever the outfit was around. He wasn't always yellow. He would come in different colors. I believe pink was another prominent one and I think blue. But the yellow one was my favorite and I was like, yes, this is it. So Stormy, I was like, okay. What am I going to do for Stormy? Who is Stormy? And I was like, I want him to be bright colored. I want him to obviously be blonde. Because I... <laughs> Everyone has character tropes. And mine is blonde hair, blue eye boys. Oops. And so I was like, of course, Cloudy's going to have like this blonde haired boy. Because lightning is a thing. So 
I was I did that and of course when I was making his outfit I was like this is a cute outfit but also eh. and then I was listening to some Legend of Zelda ambient music and of course it's one of those playlists that ha adds like storm backgrounds like you know the ones there's common it's not even Legend of Zelda ones but it's just calming music with storm and rain ambience in the background, three hour long. And of course, you listen to that and you're like, yes, this is exactly what I would like. Like, maybe Stormy is the embodiment of falling asleep to the storm. And of course, I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And I'm looking and I'm looking and I look over to my laptop and I see the yellow penguin with the blue and white hat. And I'm like, okay. I got this. So that's how Stormy was made. <laughs> Stormy is the mixture of childhood nostalgia, penguin obsession, looking at the right penguin at the right time, and listening to the right music at the right time, and just going ham. <laughs> and so his main, now I'm going to transition into the main, I guess, speed paint of everything. So. So obviously when making the secondary art, I was like, you know, this isn't going to be his main outfit because let's be real, if you're tired all the time and you're like, ooh, I am sleepy, I want to be in comfy clothes, maybe a bomber jacket, jeans, and a t-shirt with sneakers is not comfy. I mean, it could be comfy for you. Your level of comfort could totally be different from my level of comfort. Who knows? But me, I'm lazy. I like to wear boxers, a big old long sleeve t-shirt that's probably like an extra extra large men's or an extra extra large men's sweater Ooh, beautiful and maybe some slippers and socks and that's it so i was like that's gonna be stormy's main outfit just pajamas stormy's always gonna be wearing pajamas so he has this cute girlfriend who's basically a prism who's wearing always wearing these like fluff not fluffy oh my gosh like lacy ribbony beautiful little outfits with bows and everything and then she has this boyfriend who comes out in boxers and a t-shirt and slippers and is like it's raining i'm going to bed because he goes to sleep every time it rains because yeah so other than stormy basically falling asleep anywhere and everywhere when it rains especially when it storms I like to imagine that he is a very cuddly person, probably. Well, um, I'd like to imagine that he is kind of like your typical shonen pro tag, <laughs> which is, oh my gosh, I am just reading myself. I am completely exposing myself right now because. Look, I know some shonen protagonists can be like, oh my god, you're Mr. Good Boy. Ooh, that was my dog. Um, oh my gosh, you're always happy, you always see the positives, and you're optim optimistic. Can What, and you're not flawed? Like, what the heck? Calm down. But really, it's like, I eat that shit up. I eat that trope right up. <laughs> like, I love Sora. I love yugi <laughs> oh my god i i love them all but also i love the trope where the main protagonist just also really likes to sleep he's just a sleepy boy and he's just yep okay well that's stormy now that's gonna be cloudy's fictional boyfriend uh, basically a shonen protag but he's not the protag he's the side character he's the love interest <laughs> so best girl and protag switch roles now best girl is protag and protag is now best girl well i guess best boy best being <laughs> i don't know but this was just gonna be like a quick thing i'm trying to not super in delve with oh, so much traffic i'm trying to like not delve into too deep of a story or personality with these two because they're just they're just not supposed to have 
that deep. They're not, it's not that deep, Cloudy. It's not that deep. <laughs> They're just personas because I just can't, I go, I go ham. I go ham when it comes to backstories and I can't help it. So it's just like, yes, he exists. This is his personality. That's his girlfriend. They cuddle. That's it. That's probably going to be most of their art. Just cuddling or doing cute stuff. That's all. Don't, don't think too deep into it. Don't do it. For the love of God, don't do it. <laughs> I hope you all have a good day and comment below what is your favorite character tropes if i were to go fully deep into tropes god that's a whole other video but tell me what is your favorite character trope and you could tell me why or not just be like yo this is it okay uh like i said have a good day and bye